Hey everyone, the monthly games for PlayStation Plus Essential have just been announced by Sony. This is the first month since the price increase was announced and it's an interesting mix, so let's go over them quickly and see if it's worth that little bit more. Drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and let's get into it. Headlining the Essential lineup for PlayStation Plus this October, we have the Callisto Protocol. This survival horror game which originally released late last year was directed by the creator of Dead Space and is considered a spiritual successor to the beloved franchise. In the Callisto Protocol, we take on the role of Jacob Lee, an innocent man who, three hundred years in the future has just been sentenced to prison on Callisto, one of the moons of Jupiter. As other prisoners mysteriously start to transform into monsters, it's up to Jacob to figure out what's going on as he tries to battle his way out of the prison. In this linear, narrative-driven experience, there is a mixed focus on gunplay and close quarter combat. The Callisto Protocol received mixed reviews when it came out, with most of its criticism falling on its story and performance at launch. Where it seems to fare a bit better was with how it handled its horror and action elements within the game. Currently retailing for roughly 20-30 30 dollars depending on where you look, I think this is a worthy addition to PlayStation Plus. The next game on this list is Farming Simulator 2022, released in late 2021. A far cry from the horror gore fest that is the Callisto Protocol, this entry in the long running series from Giant Software will once again see you take on the role of a modern farmer with a focus on agriculture, animal husbandry, and forestry. In this version of Farming Simulator, there is even more to do than ever before, as one might expect. You have over 400 farming machines at your disposal and you're going to need them if you want to harvest all your crops before the seasons change on you, a new addition in the century of the games. In this relaxing take on the ever-growing genre of simulator games, you can either choose to grow your farm solo or with your friends in their multiplayer mode. There's loads to do as this version promises more player freedom than ever before. Receiving generally favorable reviews from critics, this may just fill that hole that you've been trying to fill forever as you get away from it all from the comfort of your living room. And as this game is usually around $30 depending on the retailer, I think it's a fair addition to the lineup as well. And finally, rounding out this list, we have a weird one. Weird West, that is. Coming from the minds of Wolf Eye Studios and publisher Devolver Digital in early 2022, you are in for a unique experience in this isometric RPG. In this game, you will be experiencing the stories of five different characters in a Wild West that is familiar in some ways while being very different in many other ways. On top of that, the story has also been praised as a major draw for people. This game will give you a lot of options as you use the environment to your advantage and try to survive the crazy action that can ensue. On top of that, the game plays as a sandbox with mostly randomized parts that fit together nicely, making for a replayable experience if you ever want to go back to the game. This game, when it came out, also received generally favorable reviews, and I think a big part of that has to do with just how unique of an experience it is. Currently, you can find it for around $40 on the PlayStation 5, give or take, and I think it rounds out this month's authoring extremely well. Well, there you have it, everyone. Those are all the games dropping early next month. Let me know if you think they're worth it. If you're going to be checking them out in October, I would love to hear what you have to say down in the comments. I'm personally going to be trying the Callisto Protocol out. Not sure if I'll finish it because I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to horror, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this. I'll see you all next week for a little bit of a different, slightly longer video. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time.